video show you how to do a brake change and uh, I've already done mine it's real simple so let me get this camera turned around show you how you do it now first off let me go ahead and tell you this what you're gonna need is 12 millimeter socket as you can see 12 millimeter get your uh, ratchet and you need a set of hex keys which you got right there and you would need you a um, a um, torque wrench so I'm at work luckily I can use all the stuff here but uh, let me get this video turned around and show you how to do it so these are the two bolts you want to take out for your caliber which I already loosened that one just something like that and I screw them out. One bolt, as you can see, one bolt. That's two bolts. As you can see, and now it'll slide right on off, just like that. And now you're right at your brake pads. So the only other thing you'll want to do is take your hex key, pull these two screws out. Give me one second get my hex key out. Out the package. Got my hex key, which is a, uh, a uh, metric hex key. It's a metric hex key uh, number three, and all you'll want to do is take that bolt out. Take that bolt out. So let me get these two bolts out, and I'll show you where to go from there. Oh, no. Checking some stuff. Now be sure to keep up with these tiny little screws that they easily to get lost. So make sure you keep up with them. And as you can see, this little plate comes off, set it to the side, and now you're right at your brakes. So the only thing you have to do is see that little pin right there? Pull that little pin out. Fingernails. Let's see here. All right, you pull your little pin out. <clears throat> Set that to the side. Make sure you don't lose it. And the only other thing you'll want to do is just work this little bar out right here. If you can see it, I don't know if you, how good you can see it, but it's a little bar right there. Pull that out.
Let's say pull that little bar out. And your brake pads come right on out. And the only other thing you'll want to do is when you're installing them, is to push your uh, calibers back in a little bit. I don't have to on mine, but because if yours is worn, it's going to be pushed in. But you could do it with, do it by your hand. You don't need no uh, special tool and then just push them in, press them in, and go back through the steps of putting it back together. And that's it. That's all to changing the front brakes on the hybrid. Okay, now we're going to put the brakes back together. Make sure you have a torque wrench because the uh, specific uh, torque foot pounds is 20, I want to say it's 28. So make sure you do have your torque wrench to torque your bolts back down. So here I run through a little process of putting the uh, brakes back together and putting the caliber back on the bike. Let's get the camera turned around. brakes so now all you want to do is just slide them in uh oh knock the camera down got my pin slide your pin back in Remember this little cotter pin, it's a little hole right there. Let's see, I'll move the camera in so you can see the little hole. It's a little hole right there. Make sure you find your little hole on there, spin it around if you have to. That's where your cotter pin go. And slide it in so like this. All right, it's in there, it's not gonna go nowhere. And now, you put your brake dust shield back on. Like so. Get your tiny little screws. These don't. Have, these little screws don't have to be torqued down. Just, just uh, get them tight, but not too tight. You don't want to strip them. Allen wrench tight alright get ready to ease it back on the caliber like that I mean caliber back on the rotor like that line the holes back up take your two screws Start screwing them back in. Now make sure you get it lined up. Like so. And this is the same process for both sides. that battery room went dead but got my torque wrench you want to have that 28 foot pounds and 
washer here, click, you know it's on now. There it is. And that's how you change brakes on the Gen 1 booth. Preferably, mine's a 06, but it works for all Gen 1s. And that's how you do it. So, uh, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And this is Chevy Box Rider, aka Joker, signing out.